Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you time selection editing in Reaper. Now, with most computer programs, you have one option for cutting, copying, or pasting. But with Reaper, we have two. And we can see them if we go to the edit menu. This option right here is more of your typical copying. And this one down here is more of your typical cutting. And we could trigger them in the usual way. On PC, it's Control C, and on Mac, it's Command C. And for cutting, on PC, it's Control X, and on Mac, it's Command X. But if we add in the Shift key, we get two other options. Right over here, where it's going to copy our items, tracks, and envelope points within the time selection. Or well, this option over here, where it's going to cut our items, tracks, or envelope points within the time selection. And then we could paste them afterwards. So let me show you how that works. All these pieces over here are called items or media items. So if you want to copy or paste them, we can just select it, copy it, and paste it wherever we want. And it's going to paste it right where our cursor is placed. So if I copy this and paste it right at bar two, it's going to paste right in bar two. But if you notice over here, it doesn't start on the top of our measure on bar one. It's somewhere in between bar one and two. So if we use a time selection, it's going to preserve this distance when we paste it over here, putting our audio item in time with our track. So let's undo this. And instead, let's create a time selection. We'll drag from bar one to bar two. And now we'll select the media item and hold down shift when we copy it. And that's going to copy it within the time selection. So now if we go to bar two and paste it, it pastes it with the same distance from the top of the bar. So we pasted it here but it actually put it over here, which again is the same distance that's from here to here, over here. And if you notice, it put our cursor at bar three. And there's a reason for that. If we want to paste it again, it places the same thing between bar three and bar four. And we can keep doing it over and over in our entire song, making it a lot easier to loop things or repeat things throughout the song. But this only works when a preference is turned on. Let's go to our preferences under the options menu. And let's scroll down to editing behavior. And here's the option that needs to be turned on. Move edit cursor when pasting or inserting media. Now luckily it's on by default, but if for some reason you're not getting this behavior, it may have been turned off. And that's going to help for things like this. Let's say we wanted to copy and paste all this and repeat it throughout the song. We could select from bar one to bar five, which is now a time selection, and just select all these items. So we could right click and drag, which is known as marquee select, and just select all the items like this. Now we could copy them by holding down shift and paste them right at bar five. Now they all get pasted perfectly in time with the song. And our cursor moves to bar nine, letting us do it again. So you can paste it again, over and over throughout the song, making it a lot easier to repeat things. Now this is also useful for cutting out sections in media items. For example, I have a piano down here, and if I select it, you can see it's pretty big. It's four bars long. But let's say I wanted to cut out just the section here. Typically, you would split it by hitting S, split it again over here, and then deleting it. But that takes three steps. We can use time selection instead and do it this way. Create a time selection that we want. Let's go from here to here. Select the item. Hold on Shift. When we cut it, and it just cuts out the section we don't want. 
Do the same over here. Hold on shift and cut it. I mean, cut out pieces we don't need. A lot quicker than hitting split two times and then delete. And it's also very useful for ripple editing, which is the idea of moving things around as we're copying and pasting. Let me give you an example. Let's say everything between bar one and two, we want to copy to bar two to three. We don't want to delete this. So we want to move everything here over one bar to make room for the copy of this section. We can just turn on ripple editing right over here, hit this twice, and we can right click it and see it's ripple edit all tracks. So all tracks will be affected and just select from bar one to two, marquee select them, right click drag, and just copy it while holding shift and just paste it at bar two. And watch what happens. It moves everything that was over here over to here. So undo it and redo it. It moves it over. Let's zoom out so you can see it better. Undo and redo. It moves it over that full bar and pastes it right in that section, making it a lot easier for doing song arrangements. We want to move things or copy things, but move everything else after it. And it's also very useful if we want to copy things that don't start on the bar. For example, let's delete this stuff right here. Let's say we want to copy just these items here. Let's first duplicate this item over to here. Let's say we want to copy just these items here, I'm not counting this one, and paste them at bar two around this one. We can make a time selection from bar one to bar two and just select the items we want, like this clap, these two kicks, and this snare, but not this clap. Shift copy it and paste that at bar two. And it just pastes those items around the other ones. It didn't paste this one because we didn't select this one. Now you're probably thinking this does require two steps. We have to first create a time selection and then marquee select the items we want by right click dragging and drag all the items. But we could do this in one step. If we add in Alt on the PC, or option on the Mac, when we right click drag, it'll create a time selection at the same time as marquee selecting the items. So let's hold down that keystroke and right click drag, and we can create a time selection from one to two while also marquee selecting all the items we want, like this. Let go, and it did that all in one step. So we could shift copy it and just paste it wherever we want, without having to do it in two steps. Let's do the same thing again with just these items here. Just select here to create a time selection while also selecting all the items we need. And we created a time selection from bar one to two and selected all the items that we needed. If we didn't want the piano, just don't select the piano. And finally, this will all work with envelope points as well. Let's go down over here to the violin, and let's take a look at the volume envelope. Select it, hit V, and I can see the volume envelope right down here. There's a bunch of points already there, and if we selected them all by right-click dragging them like this, if we normally copy them and paste them to bar three, it pastes it right on bar three. But if we take a look at bar two, there's a pretty big space right here. So this envelope is out of time with our song. So instead, we should create a time selection first, marquee select them like this, or do it together with that modifier, like this, and now shift copy it, and we can paste it right here, and it's perfectly in time with our song. The space right here is the same as over here. 
And once again, we put our cursor right after it so I can keep pasting and repeating that envelope over and over again, as long as we need in our song. So that's pretty much it. That's time selection editing in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!